actress Ellen Page opening up on her initial reaction to the Jussie Smollett controversy when she slammed Vice President Pence and suggested that people in power wanted to, quote, cause suffering. Now that Smollett's charged with staging his own attack, Page writes in The Hollywood Reporter, quote, when the rhetoric we read and the hate speech we hear comes from our politicians, our media and entertainment, our neighbors and families, and our religious leaders, we internalize the pain in damaging self-defeating waves. We are wary and afraid to report hate violence. We lose hope as we continue to be victimized. Media Buzz host Howard Kurtz joins us on that. What did you make of that now reaction from the actress, Howie? Sandra, Ellen Page is engaged in pure damage control trying to set, change the subject. She didn't just rush to judgment on Jussie Smollett's hoax. Uh, she blamed Mike Pence and to a lesser extent Donald Trump. She went on Stephen Colbert and said we have to connect the dots for a supposedly homophobic attack that never happened. Now, it's fine for her to pivot to, you know, the reality of hate crimes, whether they deserve more coverage. I don't have any quarrel with that, but she's not expressing a smidgen of regret. Ellen Page owes Mike Pence an apology for smearing him over a non-existent attack. Yeah, and, and, it, and it seems that even though we're moving farther and farther away from the revelation that this was a hoax, we continue to hear from those who immediately spoke out in reaction to that, Howie. Yeah, and some at least, journalists and others have had the class to say, you know, I, I spoke too soon, I rushed to judgment, I should have waited for more facts. And, you know, again, it's fine for her to make the larger case that this doesn't mean there aren't hate crimes in the United States of America. But how about expressing some sort of regret at what you did because she immediately went to the political, oh, it's Vice President Pence's fault somehow. And then it turns out this never happened. In fact, it was a spectacular racially charged hoax, and she just kind of writes around that. Meanwhile, I want to get to the uh, Michael Cohen hearing yesterday because there was a lot of drama throughout the day. And you have penned the, this piece headlined under hyperpartisan uh, questioning. Did Michael Cohen damage Trump? You attempt to answer that question in your piece. You say the bottom line, the day long extravaganza probably did little to change the minds of Trump supporters who view him as a pathetic convicted criminal or Trump opponents who view him as a reformed sinner now shining a light on the president's dark deeds. So did the president or did Michael Cohen damage the president at all with this hearing? Well, obviously, the president's former lawyer painted a very dark picture of him and, and some of the things he had to say about racist comments and so forth were disturbing. But he spent so much of the hearing uh, fending off attacks on his own credibility. Obviously, he is a convicted liar, convicted, of course, of lying to Congress, that I think it may have overshadowed what he had to say. The other thing, Sandra, is that Cohen, uh, where he did provide specifics, for example, hush money payments to Stormy Daniels or efforts to build a Trump Tower in Moscow, he kind of was going over ground that we mostly knew about because of past reporting. And the one uh, new thing he had to say, which is that there was supposedly a phone call from Roger Stone to President Trump about advanced knowledge of the WikiLeaks dump on the Democratic emails, Stone is disputing. And he says no Russian collusion. So uh, I think it wasn't a great day for Donald Trump being attacked in that fashion. But I think while Michael Cohn may have helped himself a little bit in terms of his own image and agonizing over his past wrongdoing, um, I think he undercut himself by being so relentlessly personal in his attacks on the man he worked for for 10 years. Oh, Howie Kurtz, great to get you on the program this morning to react to all of that. Thank you. My pleasure.